morning, my name is Chris Brennan. So I'm the Group Finance Director for Vinci Construction UK. The general positivity about prospects in 2021. And, and the other thing that did uh, spring out to me as well, which is a concern of, concern of ours at Vinci Construction UK, is worries about supply chain failure uh, and availability of good resources. We, we had a, unfortunately, a major subcontractor go bust on us a few weeks ago on one of our bigger schemes, which has caused us quite a bit of angst and anxiety. So there is always that concern around the supply chain and the stability of it. There was nothing particular that surprised me from the results of the survey, apart from that there was no mention of prompt payment or payment to terms for the supply chain. We in Vinci Construction UK, we, we've had some real good efforts since the due to report payment practices was bought in in 2018, just, just to ensure that we're paying uh, the supply chain promptly and that we're paying them to terms. Certainly staff resources, and that's both recruiting good resource and ensuring that retention of our own staff is maintained is a, is a key focus for us and we're also investing in back office IT systems uh, with the main aim is making us more efficient and also for us to provide more timely and faster information so that's another key focus for for investment for us this year just jumping back a little bit I mean staff resources and retention of of good staff is key with some of the major infrastructure projects that are happening at the moment. The likes of HS2 needs huge resources on it and you know there's high salary levels being paid for some of them resources to move from organisations for a good income for six or seven years on one particular project. I'll be honest, Brexit didn't really, I, I, I think Brexit was obviously built up to a big thing, but as, as a business, I'm not really sure we've, we, we, we suffered much due to Brexit. The, the, only, the, the only areas that maybe we suffered slightly was maybe delays with decisions being made on private sector schemes going ahead and things like that. But there was nothing really too significant with Brexit. Now, obviously, COVID has was been a different uh, kettle of fish, I think. And it has made us think, particularly around a couple of our business units, where we had one business unit that are reliant on the, not reliant, they, they do a lot of work in the health sector that all of a sudden became very, very busy last year because they were supporting the NHS with everything that was going on in the hospitals. But we had another part of the same business, another business unit that was heavily reliant on the retail sector, which obviously declined significantly because retail was, the shops were closed down, etc. So it did make us look at them two business units and you know, bring synergies between the two of what, what the retail part could bring to the public sector health scheme part. So we've actually re reshaped our business slightly to make them two business units now more even, if that makes sense. So rather than one doing £150 million turnover and one just doing 50 we we've kind of realigned them and it's not exactly like that, but realigned them both now so they're about £100 million each. Labour resources, again, due to the large infrastructure schemes like HS2 starting off. I mean, that, 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 that scheme just for ourselves. So we, we are actually active on HS2. Uh, we're in joint venture on two lots. And the, the resources that we need for them two lots, you're talking between six and 7,000 people to, to deliver uh, that whole scheme over the next, next six or seven years. And we, coupled with that, you've got travel restrictions into the UK now because of COVID. Uh, so there's a smaller pool of people to, to choose from to get them onto the sites. And then the, the other key challenge is what we mentioned earlier on, which is the supply chain solvency. 
I suppose the first one would be don't be afraid to say no. I, I think we come under quite a bit of pressure at times to reduce our prices, you know, and, and go in at silly rates for, for certain projects where I think at times we, we should be brave enough to say no and walk away from schemes because they're just not viable, but you're just not going to make any money. They're just going to be kind of lose money on the project. So don't be afraid to, to kind of walk away. And I know that's easier said than done at times. And, and the, the last bit would be treat the supply chain fairly, pay them in a timely manner and to terms. Mm -hmm.